food provides us nutritional support and energy. Despite all the hard work by the farmers, one-thirds of the food produced gets wasted and about one billion people go hungry to bed. Pest infestation is the biggest reason for food wastage. Pests not only damage crops and fields but also spread diseases to the livestock. Pests have become resistant to most pesticides. Moreover spraying pesticides harms the environment, human health and leaves toxic residue on crops affecting trade. Sterile insect technique is developed by the IAEA, wherein males of an insect pest species are sterilized using radiation and released in the fields. The females upon mating with these sterile males give no offsprings, thus controlling the pest population without harming the environment. Food irradiation eliminates harmful microorganisms that could lead to decay of food products and inhibits sprouting. Food irradiation being a cold process increases shelf life without affecting the taste or nutrition value of food products, thus promoting easy trade. Due to changing climate, plants sometimes have to grow through very adverse conditions. Drought, heavy winds and unpredictable rains or floods can destroy the whole harvest. Exposure to radiation causes mutation in all living beings. Mutation process can be accelerated by gamma irradiation. Plants are exposed to gamma radiation in facilities called gamma gardens. In a typical gamma garden the radiation source is located in the center and plants to be irradiated are arranged in concentric circles around the source. Desired mutation is selected and crops with superior traits such as early maturity, larger seed sizes, higher yield and nutritional value and resistant to biotic and abiotic stresses can be developed. To support the green revolution in India and to demonstrate peaceful applications of nuclear technology, BARC has developed so many varieties of superior quality gamma irradiated plants. Apart from fruits and vegetables, humans have depended on animals for milk, eggs and meat. Increasing demands puts a pressure and raising more animals will just strain the environment. Radiation hybrid mapping comes to the rescue to help determine the breeding potential of animals. By looking at the DNA, farmers can thus screen for desired traits and breed animals respectively. Food security and food trade is thus possible by peaceful nuclear applications as demonstrated by IAEA and FAO.